The two people closest to the Beatles were their personal assistants, Neil Espinal and Mal Evans. Neil died in 2008, after 40 years as head of Apple. Maybe he never wrote a book, but if he had, Neil said it wouldn't be known to the public before at least four years after his death, or the year 2012. He was the roadie, but he really was the rock. Mal was their mountain. Mal was a big guy who followed Paul everywhere. If anybody could tell the full story about what happened to Paul, it would be Mal. If Mal had written a book, we might learn why Paul and Mal left England in October 1966 and drove through Europe to Spain for a flight to Nairobi, Kenya. This 8mm film was made by Mal Evans on the trip. In Kenya, apparently the two traveled to the Kishi Highlands, perhaps to experience how the natives there live. After a few days, they went to a hospital where Paul apparently needed treatment. Ten days later, Mal took him on safari. And then on November 19th, they returned to London. Mal went straight to Paul's house on Cavendish Avenue and immediately fired Paul's loyal longtime butler, George Kelly, forcing him out of the house. George Kelly never saw Paul again. Paul and Mal Evans come up with this idea of Sergeant Pepper. I was Sergeant Pepper fixing a home with Paul. It was at a point when he was living in his house in London. His housekeeper had left, and I, I lived with him for four months. Mm -hmm. And on top of the house, he had a small music room. You know? And uh, he used to sit on the piano, and that's when we wrote Sergeant Pepper. On January 5th, 1976, Mel was on the phone with his good friend from the Beatles days. Mel told him he had worked out some problems with Paul and that he would be receiving royalties for all the songs he'd written. He sounded worried. He said, Paul and I have just worked out some problems and he's going to give me credit for some of the things I wrote with them. Mel Evans had almost finished his book, Living the Beatles Legend. If anything happens to me, please make sure the book gets published. Four hours later, Mel Evans was killed by a police patrol led by former Kennedy investigator Charles Higby. The official police justification for killing Mel was that he was standing and waving an air rifle. Please make sure the book gets published. The manuscript which lay inside a locked suitcase disappeared. This suitcase is considered the holy grail of Beatles historians. The suitcase disappeared 